This is a brief overview of what Posomatic can do for your bone base rigs. We have a 3D model here, courtesy of TurboSquid, to use as an example for the scene. So with our penguin, using a standard bone base rig setup, we will go in the modifier stack and apply the Posomatic modifier. Posomatic is an extension of Morphomatic, so it basically expands the already extensive set of tools included in Morphomatic, one of which is the added support for bone based rigs. So first select the bones that you wish to add to Posomatic, in this case all of the facial bones. Once this is done we will edit the current pose, which will be the neutral pose. So we will just close the mouth of the penguin as a default. We will also pin the stack in order to always come back to the posematic stack quickly. And there we go. We have just created our neutral position and this will be our starting point when animating the penguin. So, what's really great about using posematic is that we can create preset poses using any combination of position, rotation, and scale of any of the bones that are selected. This is done by altering all of the controllers on all the bones you have selected. This is what Posematic is doing under the hood. Let's create a new pose. The A mouth position, like this, and I will then go in the Edit Current Pose mode. What we will do now is open up the mouth then add some deformations to the tongue, like this. And then to make it more lifelike, maybe add a slight deformation to the corners of the mouth, like this. If we now quit the Edit Current Pose mode and use sliders, we can see that all of the bones we had selected were used to create the pose we have just defined. So we can create as many poses as we want and then easily share and reuse these poses as we continue with our animation. So I will now go in the Edit Current Pose mode and create a new pose, the U-Mouth position, which will also be the puckering of the lips for our cartoony penguin. So in the Edit Current Pose mode, let's place the beak of the penguin slightly opened, like this. Exaggerate the corners. and the top of the beak. There we go. We now have an A mouth position and a U mouth position. We can now move to another pose. Make the eyes of our penguin squint. So let's grab the eye helpers. Starting with the top eyelids, Let's bring them down to where they should and then grab the lower eyelids and move them up to where the eyes look like they are squinting. So we now have three controls linked to our three poses. One for the A mouth position, one for the U, and one for the eyes squinting. We could keep going and create as many poses as we like, making the complete facial animation of our character, like the eyebrows motion and the other mouth positions. We can also then reuse these poses at any given time while animating. So Posematic allows you to take your bone based rigs and create preset poses that can then be automated as if they were morph targets. So that can also be connected with an automated lip sync tool like Voiceomatic. Or you could simply use Posematic to animate any preset pose with a bone based rig setup. Posematic is a very useful tool to go beyond what is available to create character animation by default in 3ds Max, and that is on top of all the functionalities added by Morphomatic. Thank you for watching this quick video on Posematic. 
For more information or to download trial versions of any Diomatic product, visit our website at www.diomatic.com.